Hello, everyone. In this talk, I will introduce Synopt and its Julia interface. My name is Huang Fuqi. I'm one of Synopt developers. The full name of Synopt is Cardinal Optimizer. It is developed by our company, which is called Cardinal Operations. In the past three years, since 2019, we have introduced many in mathematical solvers and functionalities. To help users to use our solvers, we provided many interfaces and most importantly, the Julia interface. We also provided remote services such as Synopt Compute Cluster and this, the solver can be used on mainstream platforms. Here is an overview of Synopt performance. It is based on results from benchmarks for optimization software, which is maintained by Professor Hans Mittelman. The results are taken on June 26 of 2022. And if you want to see up-to-date results, you can always visit his website. According to the public benchmark, Seopt is leading on many categories and we are catching up on the important MIP benchmark. I'd like to give an overview of Seopt solvers and its functionalities. To start with, I would like to first introduce the simplex solver. Simplex algorithm is called the algorithm that won the award in a New Scientist article from 2012. And in our experience, the simplex solver is very suitable for large and sparse LP problems. And it is necessary for solving LP relaxations in MIP solver. Besides all the basic techniques, there are some highlights in Copt that I'd like to mention. For example, we have full parallelization in the simplex solver, and we also support court position, which can help to deal with very numerical hard instance. And we have this first order method, which are very useful on some type of problems. The other technique for solving LP problems is a barrier solver. It is more suitable for denser problems, degenerate problems, or numerical hard problems. In Copt, we have parallel Cholosky, which gives us deterministic and thread independent results. We also have parallel crossover, which helps us to get to a basic solution faster. And uh, during our development, we also found that there is a technique to reduce the support of solutions, and we published that on archive already. In the past one year, we extended our barrier solver to solve more types of problems. For example, the second order cone problem, the convex QP and the QCP, and finally the semi-definite problems. And with the semi-definite solver available, there are already many users asking for Julia support. The MIP solver is often regarded as the most important component of a mathematical solver. As you can see, in the past year, we have spent lots of effort in improving our MIP solver and achieved a very nice speed up. However, according to public benchmarking, our MIP solver is still in a catching up position. But if we can reproduce the same improvements as we done in the past year, maybe by the mid of next year, 2023, we will be the best. Besides all the mathematical solvers, Copt also provided two very important functionalities for resolving invisible problems. They are called IIS and Face Relax. The IIS can help you to compute a smaller subsystem, which is also invisible, and that can help you to debug the model more easily. Compared to that, Face Relax can relax an invisible problem to become feasible, and meanwhile, it can tell you which of the variables and constraints 
that I need to be relaxed. Now let's come to the C Opt Julia interface. It was introduced in 2022, and we have already noticed that there are many users who adopt it. It is maintained directly by the Copt team. You can access its source code in our GitHub repository. Here I include an example of modeling using the Copt interface. Of course, the Copt have other interfaces, for example, the C interface, some of the object-oriented interface, and some third-party connections. The Copt Julia interface is fairly new and there are future works to do. For example, we want to enable automatic download of Windows binary, which has already worked with Linux and Mac OS. This would allow for solving small instances without even applying for a Copt license for a non-commercial purpose. We also want to add SDP support. Despite that we only released Copt SDP Solver last month, there have been many requests for its Julia support. It is possible that it's already done when you see this talk. Going forward, we may need your help to get the Opt Julia interface better. You can start by trying out our interface, report issues and bugs. If you feel interested, you can always contribute to the open source Copt Julia interface code. I'd also like to mention that the Julia community is growing quickly in China. Here on the left is a screenshot of Copt user chat group. There are many Julia discussions. There's one guy said that no, I haven't learned other interfaces besides Julia. And a while later, he said, Copt Julia is up and running. The next steps will be easy. On the right, there is a screenshot of Julia Chinese community. There are thousands online and uh, there are hundreds of daily chats. There's one guy who said, if an undergraduate is so good on Julia, that's too good. A while later, he said, I'm a first year master's degree student and I just started to use Julia. If you feel interested in trying out Copt and our Julia interface, you can always do so by following the three like commands I listed on the screen. To solve larger problems, you can always apply for a license from our website. We give one year renewable license to academic users and we offer half year free trials for commercial users. You are welcome to visit our GitHub repository and blog spot for latest release news. Thank you.